This, this is a horrible knife. You don't want to use a serrated knife on this. So, Mitchell is destroying, and I mean destroying some avocados. Destroying. I'm going to tell you the easy way. Like actually destroying. I'm going to tell you the easy way to cut an avocado. Step one, stab. Step two, do a little bit of, like just cut around the core like you're peeling a grape. Step three. Peeling a grape? Have you ever peeled a grape, Bryce? No. Step three, twist it. Pop! Comes out just that easy. What about the core, you say? Stab it, roll it. Core's oh. gone. No more core, sorry. But now you want to do this. Cut all inside. Of it, all of its core strength is gone. Yeah. Slice it, just like so. <laughs> then, the, the final step <laughs> is to flip it inside out. Like that. Just flip that in there. All that goodness comes right out in no time. Very clean, keeps your hands very clean as you can see. Flip this baby open. Peel it. Now after that master chef performance, let's go over to Mitchell over here. See what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just peeling my avocado. What are you doing there, Mitch? Peeling my avocado. Now he peels it like a hard boiled <laughs> like egg. I don't peels it like an ogre egg. egg. I don't peels it like an ogre egg because I just eat them all. <laughs> But uh, you can see that he massacred his avocado. Not too good. Not too good at all. Dude, there's not even avocado left. You know, avocados. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? Oh, why, man? <laughs> now... You might notice, you might be wondering why, why I don't have guests on my cooking show more often. <laughs> this is why. This is why it's Bryce's cooking show, not Bryce and Mitch's cooking show. Because he, I don't know what's his, what's his deal. I, I seriously, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but why? Ugh. There you go. So now we're making a little bit of Mitch's Mexican Wolverine guacamole. Jose. First things first, what are you going to need? Avocados. Avocados. But well, first things first, a bit of cheese. Not as much cheese as my mystery dip. Because, like I said, we want to complement the flavor of the avocados. This isn't cheese dip. But hold your horses, Bryce. You know, the first time we made this dip was actually in... Yesterday. No, I it was in Mexico. Right, Mexico. With my good pal, Jose. And his... Who is... Mexican. President of America. Never mind him. Next thing's next, a bit of salsa. Salsa is a good thing to add to guacamole. Why, you might ask? Just for fun. Just for fun. We add a bit of salsa in there, not too much. Just a, just a little bit. Just enough to make it feel comfortable. All right, now for uh, one more ingredient. Well, there's actually more than one ingredient, but uh, we're going to put a little bit of Mitch's Massacred Avocados. Oh my goodness. Really you ain't got to do this decor or these. Is recycle or compost them. So you go, you put them into the compost, and then you should be good right, for now. The and you should wash your hands. All right, now we just I feel like those should be more minced. Oh, don't worry, my friend, they will. But Mitch, but when you're cutting your avocados, don't do it like Mitch. Make sure you got all your peel and stuff out of there. You did, did it. No, I just found some peel. I just want to slide this in there. What are you doing? That's not how you do it. Yes, it is. Shut it. Why did you put it into such a small bowl? Who do you think Get I a bigger am? bowl. Get a bigger bowl, man. Get a bigger bowl. All right, we're getting a bigger bowl. Coming in. in the room not thing. that big. Telling me that he knows how to make avocados. Bit, or guacamole, sorry. Yep. But no. really, he's just a poser. He does not. That's why he's wearing a grizzly shirt, because he's a poser. Yep. He's not actually a grizzly bear, you see that. I'm not a real grizzly bear, but... Next up... A fork. Now we take a fork... To... One sec, you go. After a bit of a government uprising, Mitchell's taking over now. Yes, so... What Jose t told me to do is... Make sure that your avocados are not firm like this one. Because then they're difficult to match. See that? Not use your that's hands. bad for business. Right there. So that's why. Right there. So that's why 
They call it the Mexican Wolverine dick. Stop stabbing it and mash it. That's why they call it the Mexican Wolverine dick. Dip it. <laughs> Stop stabbing it and mash it. That's why they call it the Mexican Wolverine dick. Dip it. <laughs> mash it. That's why they call it the Mexican Wolverine dick. Dip it. Because <laughs> you have to have a stroke of a knife as a Mexican Wolverine's no. claws in order to cut it. And the Wolverines are from Mexico. Alright, Colby, come here. I'm going to show you how it's really done. Well, that's a firm avocado. I can mush the other ones easy. Look. Easy Give me that. Out. Give me that bowl. Scoop. Stop. Take the fork out. Bring the camera on over here. I'll show you how it's really done. Well, that's the cheating way to do it. So what we have here... It's a bra. ...is a little bit of blender. So we don't want to overblend it because this is an avocado soup. Right, you splattered avocado <laughs> on the... You're an animal. Now we don't have the embarrassing thing of Mitchell desperately trying to cut an avocado and failing. I'm doing just fine. It's a pretty good idea, though. I actually never thought of that. Yeah, neither would I have thought of that. So but, I, this, like, is a, this is why it's Bryce's cooking show, not Colby and Mitch's. So now we have Although, this kind of mess. We can make that yeah. happen. Colby now just you turn meat. it on. Now we take a. <laughs> <laughs> now you turn it on and split, just turn the kitchen green. Although Colby does cook a mean sheep. Yep. I have heard I that. I usually also. start it start whole. Yeah. Alright. So clean that up a little bit and you're good to go. Don't get your fingers in there. Now we'll let Mitch. Mix this baby up. See, this is actually not sped up. Real time. Real walk mode. Now this we're gonna a add a bit. Spoon. Now you might see this is a bit chunky. We're gonna add a bit more salsa in there. Did you guys add garlic? No, no garlic. I must be really feeling garlic. But I think we have enough garlic. In Next up, there. we want a bit of salt. Always salt shaker to hand so you know how much you're getting. You should taste it. You should taste it? You should taste it. Probably taste it. More sauce. And then we rip and mix it a little more. Here, let the camera get a taste. It needs a little more flavor. It's more, more salt? No. Nah. I'll put a bit more. Oh, not yet. Yeah, that's too much salt. Hey, don't mix salt. that one, you crazy guy. I think that's pretty good, actually. All right. Okay, hey, Bryce has added too much salt. I added a little yeah, bit of salt. a little too much salt, I think, already. All right, well, the dips are done. Now all we got to do is test out some chips. And dip. Dip okay. the chips into Mitch dip. loves dip. I do love all right. dip. And Jared that. Gibson also loves dip. Yep, different kind of dip. More true. All right, Mitch, can you put those in the dishwasher? I'm gonna clean this stuff up. Now, this is the most important part, especially when using mom's kitchen, is clean up, otherwise you get a whooping. You see this dirty mess? Always clean that mess up. All clean. You gonna slide me that No, you need to say what chip okay. you care. So, here we have... Sideways! Mitchell. No, nope, we gotta take a new video. Start over. Okay. Saying anything. We're talking. We're in second interview. Tell me when. Okay, so, now, the first thing we're gonna be testing out is Bryce's Mystery Fridge Dip. So, we have a different um, set of different kinds of chips. I think I'm gonna go with the, 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 the Doritos first. Doritos? These are just regular nacho cheese flavored Doritos. This is the dip we have. Bryce the dip. So, here's my Dorito, and here's my mystery dip. Alright, so there's a, what that is. Your chip of choice was very weak. The smell, smells good. Hmm. Very good. Let me tell you this much. The dip has a perfect thickness. The chicken and the cheese give the dip a really thick and good taste, while the sour cream and the salsa make it a little liquidy. So that's kind of the perfect mixture. 
Now, the chicken complements the cheese in an exquisite way, and the dip is simply delinquent. All around, I'd give it an 8.7. I'd give it an 8.7 out of 10. Oh, whoa, uh, that's buddy. very optimistic. That is very generous. My chip of choice is the Triscuit Delicious Ginger Triscuit. and Lemongrass. Grass? <laughs> lemongrass. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Stop talking. Me. You're not the talker. Go I've heard that these chips were made specifically for this dip, but I'm sure if that's true or not. This box is impossible to open. Do you need some scissors, or is it already open? Obviously, it's not open. Uh-uh. No. Stay there. Okay. Now. Nice bag already. Bryce's uh, rating was very high. A bit optimistic by it. The chicken salsa sour cream combo confuses me a bit. That's okay. Go in. I don't know if I want a lot. I don't... Yeah. It's a perfect amount. Okay, ready? Hmm. Bryce is going for a Trisky crack. Wow. That is shockingly good. Might I try some? With a Trisky crack. Go ahead, cameraman. I'd love to. The Trisket really gets muted by the other flavors, and then the chicken is just kind of filling. Oh. Better go in for a bite. So, what would you rate my dip out of 10? You know what? I'm going to go an 8.5 also. Hmm. Wow. Now, I think that choosing the right chip is very important. Now, the Triscuit Cracker, I think, I don't know. I, I just, I think I like the Dorito a little better. Why don't you give that a test out? Classic, man. I'm, I'm more of a Dorito guy. Not to say that I don't like Triscuit crackers, but I just think the Dorito pair is a little better with the dip. Yeah, Please you... Dip. Let the man rate the dip. Rate the dip. Okay. <laughs> I haven't tried the other dips yet, but from what I've tasted, it's been quite good. Probably give it an 8.3. This is my Five, first seven, try with the two, one, three. extra cheddar nacho eight, Dorito. Nine, two, one. Mm. It's very interesting. Now, the oven's done, so... We're gonna try out the next dip. Stop the video, and then take... Well, enough talking about this dip. Now, we're trying out Mix's, Mitch's, Mexican Wolverine guacamole. Guacamole. So, I'm gonna dive right in with a Dorito. Guantanamo Bay dip. So, this Dorito's nice and curvy, like I like my women. Now, Bryce, that is very it important. instantly it broke because this is a very thick dip, but it's all good in the hood. So you see there, this is some thick dip, but I guess we'll figure out how good it is. Smell. It smells like avocados, but with a little something else that I can't, can't quite pick up. That was a dip, Bryce. Hmm. Well very pasty. As you mixing it with that thing. And a little bit bland, but that's not to say that it isn't good, when in fact it's quite delicious. My chip of choice. I haven't rated again. it yet. Oh, no. Co-star. Co I'd say that it's, it's tasty, but I think it slightly misses its mark. You got I would say this dip is a 6.9 out of 10. Is a 6.9 out of 10. You gotta also take into consideration, Bryce. It's a totally another. I, I mean, I respect your uh, decision, but it's a totally another breed of dip, you know? So it depends okay, what kind of dip you're into. You. Colby, what's your chip of choice? Triscuit cracker. Classic. Colby chooses the, the Triscuit grass cracker. lemon Triscuit cracker. Grass. Going in for a soft scoop. Not too chunky, not too thick, not too thin. Nice, lots of Like clock. I said, the consistency of the thickness, very good. Nice. Mm. So, tell us what you think. I enjoy it very much. 
I don't know if it's better than Bryce's mystery dip, but it's sure good. Now I'm gonna try it with uh, these extra spicy cheddar Doritos. Mm. We're getting a phone call from mother. Hello? Hey, I'm just at Bryce's house. We're on film right now. Yes, it finishes at 6.30. Yes, it finishes at 6.30. Finishes at 6.30. Okay. Okay. Bye, love you. Come to me, go get that. So what did mom have to say? She was just asking when I was ready for pickup. All right, ready for pickup. So, out of 10, what would you rate this dip? Yeah, I'm going 8.2. Close 2. second. Close now second. what I think that this dip has some great potential, but I think that, go get it, go get the thing. I think that it slightly misses its mark because of, I don't know, it's just like, while I like the dip, I really do. I, I think it lacks it's, the hand, hand mixed. And I think it's a little bland. I, think I, I like a more salty, more flavorful, and mm. I would like, honestly, like, I Less would- Less of a beeping in the background. I would like it to be more spicy. Mitch, go get that, that's why I took the camera. I'd like it to be a little more spicy. Because mm -hmm. spice is always good. But, that's not to say the dip is not good, and it's easy to make. So, if you ever find yourself with some extra avocados, hey, hanging around, some salsa, some cheese, whip this dip up, and you'll be, you'll be impressed. Mitchell writes at a seven point something. 7.3.14. Okay, next up is the grand finale of the piping hot, steaming hot artichoke dip. Ready? Yes. So, our final dip for today is the. What is it called? Three cheese artichoke dip. Three cheese artichoke dip. Now, let me just say before we start that this smell is so enticing that I can't even I can't even control myself. This smell, I'm going to tell you this is the best smell I've smelled in years. I just want to be smelling that all day. I'm just going to leave bring this down to my bedroom, leave it for like a couple hours and let that fill my I know let that delicious aroma. Like anymore. All right, so first off, I'm going to choose my chip which I'm gonna go with a Dorito, once again, right off the bat. Now, let's just, uh, wow. Now, I thought this dip would be more thick, but it is elegantly thin. Now, I'm just gonna give it, it a bit. Might be a bit cold underneath, do? but. I'm giving it a bit mix, because, you know, just because that's what we do. We don't want all the cheese in one spot. Careful, sir, it might be a little hot. Now. Hotter on the outside, for sure. Hope let's so. see what I got here. Wow. A little hot. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now, wow. Now I gotta tell you, this dip is my favorite. Now let me just say, it is perfectly cheesy, elegantly creamy, and the artichoke is exquisite. Time's up. This phone's going off. Like I was saying, it's just, it's delinquent, this dip, and I'm just delinquent. thinking... You're not using the you're right use dude, word there, sir. I know my wording, all right? This dip is yeah. very good. Well, it's the most complex dip we've made yet. There's a lot more work put into it. It is the best. Now, let me tell you the rating. This dip, I rate... Mm. A 9.67... A 9.67 out of 10. Very high. Now tell me, tell me what you think about this dip, Colby. Well, not being biased, but I know my dip's making skills. He does. And it's high up there. So, I'm gonna rate this a 9.420. Wow. That's how good of a dip it is. It's a good dip. Let me taste it with the... I think you'll find you cannot get enough of this dip, also my dip, but this dip is great hot. I don't know about cold, but if you have some friends coming over, I recommend putting in the time and the effort because it's worth it. Now you might be thinking, 
This dip is very complex looking. I don't even remember. If I'm going to forget how to make it. Watch my video again and again until you get it right. Because when you do, you will not be able to stop making this dip. Or don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Bryce's YouTube channel. And uh, I hope you enjoy Bryce's cooking show. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Comment, um, maybe comment a dip recipe for me to make. And in the future, I'll whip up that dip. And I'll tell you how much I like it. Also, leave a comment if you'd like to see me and Mitch more often. Because we're around. Studying downstairs anytime. We are around. Thanks for watching. Farewell. 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 Or as I say in France, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>